Father's love, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for April the 1st from our Daily Walk by F.B. Meyer. This one's entitled, The Choice of a Life Work. First for today is 1 Kings 3, 7 through 9. 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 7 through 9. I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. Give thy servant an understanding heart. We shall never rightly choose our life course until we are determined to put first thing put first things first. Wealth, honor, fame, the surpassing of our rivals are not the chief things to be considered, or our judgment will be impaired and our vision distorted. It was because Solomon desired and sought the kingdom and glory of God that he gave him also the things for which he did not ask. Impressed by the greatness of his responsibilities, the young king had gone to Gibeon to worship God. He wished to fulfill his opportunities to their highest measure and to serve his fatherland, but he realized his inefficiency. Do you feel like this? You realize the wonderful opportunities and responsibilities of life in this marvelous age and long to be of service to God and your fellows, but what can you do? You are but as a little child and know not how to go out or come in. Going out stands for the active life in the world of men. Coming in for the hours spent in the home, in recreation and society. It is like the systole and diastole of the heart's action, which should be alike consecrated to God and of service to man. Solomon asked for an understanding heart that he might discern between good and bad. We all need this faculty that we may discriminate between things that look very much alike, but are different in nature and direction. It is not an endowment of intellectual power, but of moral taste and discernment. It's been said that the difficulty in life is not to discriminate between white and black, but to choose between the different shades of gray. In our fellowships, recreations, literature, business, we are in urgent need of the understanding heart, which listens for and heeds the voice of God. Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings upon the altar. We're required to present our bodies as living sacrifices unto God, which is our reasonable service. Our career is often determined by our circumstances or by our special gifts and talents. And on the whole, we succeed best in doing what we like best. But if we yield ourselves to do God's will, He will direct our paths. Our prayer for today, O Father, make us diligent in business fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. May we prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. Amen. I hope today's devotional blesses you and strengthens you. I'll paste the scriptures here, read over them, and let the Holy Spirit write them in your heart. If you need a Bible, you know me. Be more than happy to send one to you. Please don't forget to pray for the children, for our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world, and for those still lost in the darkness so that they too can see the light. May our Father bless you. May He keep you. May His grace shine upon you. 
and give you peace. See you next time.